Hello everyone! The last video of this series showcased the command system, an important part of Emzerduck. Today, I will focus on the debug mode. While it's more useful for developers than for anyone playing the game, you could certainly do a lot with it. If you've developed mods for a duck game, you may know how much effort it is to test custom items. With Emzerduck, however, you're provided with a new set of tools. While there are commands like slash set, slash call or slash spawn now, they aren't always enough when you're trying to solve a problem with a newly created item. You may also want to inspect the state of anything else in the level, or change it without having to know which field it has. This is why the debug mode was created. Pressing F9 opens a simple interface inside of your game, showing you some info at your mouse position at first. By right-clicking anywhere, you can inspect the state of anything under your cursor. If you want to, you can modify the values, similarly to using slash set, but here you can also freeze them as well, so that they keep their value until manually changed. It also is more useful simply because you have a great overview of what's going on, or if something unexpected gets changed by any chance. Another debugging feature is a small logging window, to which you can add entries with a simple method call from your code. This can also be done in-game using the slash debug command. You can use this to easily check what is being executed, or whether a state is incorrectly set. Before these features were in place, you had to use the ducklog.txt file to know what's going on, which isn't very handy at all. The debug mode also features a profiler, which basically checks performance and tells you what parts of your code run slowly. By executing certain methods before, during and after any parts of your code, it'll be displayed in this list and tracked how long it takes to execute. The debug mode and the command system cover the most major changes of Emzerduck, but there's still a lot to showcase. The next video will focus on the newly added modifiers, so stay tuned.